Hi everyone, it's Ian from Qtips. About three years ago, a, a client sent me a project that I couldn't open because they, they hadn't included any of the shape files with that project. So what I did is I created a video to show them how they could share projects. And it was using shape files and just traditional folders. And today I want to show you how you can share a project using a geo package, which is probably a, a more efficient and definitely a more elegant um, solution to sharing your project. Okay, so what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to show you how to convert a project which is referencing shapefiles into a project that references geo packages and then have everything stored inside a single geo package so that you can save it and share it with your colleagues. Um, one thing I thought I'd do for this tutorial is actually package the tutorial information. I'll, so what I'll do is I'm going to save out the, the shape files and I'll put them in a shareable link and put them in the video description. So if you are looking to follow on by actually uh, running through the tutorial on your own, you'll be, you'll be able to do that. So go and look for that link in the video description. Uh, other than that, good luck. Let's get on with the video and hopefully you find it useful. Let's have a look at what we've got. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert a project that has already been saved in a folder. So this is this is the folder that I'm working with here. So this is usually what I do is I'll, I'll create a parent folder and then inside that parent folder I'll have a couple of other folders with the, for instance, with the spatial and then the vector layers and these are just shape files and then also a project uh, folder with the actual QGIS project in this instance. Okay, so we're going to open up this project and that looks like like this and then we are going to convert all of these shapefile layers into tables inside a geo package and then share that geo package. I'll also save the project inside that geo package. And what is a geo package? So if if you don't know, a geo package is basically developed by the Open Geospatial Consortium as a platform with an independent format that can store different types of geographic data, including vector features, as well as raster images. So, you know, your traditional vector uh, features like points, lines, and polygons, and then a raster as well. So we'll also export the, the this background tile image as a raster and store that in our geo package as well. So let's, let's go about that and uh, I'll show you how to do it. So I'm going to start off by let's just turn off i've got i've got a couple t um toolbars turned on here i just don't actually want them so i'm going to turn those off just to give myself a bit more space and let's convert these okay so these are the shape files and let's have a look at, at where they're stored and they're in that um, folder on my desktop but we can look at the path name to them by just right clicking on any of these layers and then going to the information and then having a look at the path Okay. All right. So let's let's see what we can do. Let's start off by exporting these to a new geo package. I'm going to right click on places. I say export, save feature as. Just make sure I choose the correct format. And in this instance, it will be a geo package. And then navigate to a location. Let's store it. We'll just store it straight in the parent folder Landudno, and we'll call it. Let's call it Landudno as well. Okay, land Dudno, that's the geo package name. And then this first table or layer that we're going to save out is places. So we'll let it be places as well. And we'll leave the uh, coordinate reference system as EPSG 2048. That works. So let's say, okay. And you'll see what it does is it actually adds it. Uh, and that is because I had uh, one of those settings was add um, exported layer to the t to the current project. So let's just remove this for now, and then let's export the roads. So places are exported. So let's e export the roads. The same geo package. Just need to go and select it now because now it's been created. The name can be the same. And here's that little setting at the bottom here. I'm going to turn that off. I don't want to add all of these layers to the project. I'll say OK, and then suburb. And Irvin. So there's only is one, two, three, four. There's only four four shape files that I'm going to export to this geo package. So 
So let's connect to that geo package in our browser and see what it looks like. So if you go to your browser and just right click on geo package and select new connection and then just navigate to that new geo package that you've created and then click open then it creates a connection to the geo package and we should have all those layers inside there they are okay so there are the layers inside that geo package which is exactly what i expect to see so that's good right next thing we're going to do so now these are currently still referencing those shape files just right click on it again just go to properties all we've done is export these to the geo package but we haven't changed the path name okay so what we can do now is we can just change the path name for each of these layers and to do that you just right click on the on the layer that you want to change the path name for and you can say change data source and then this window pops up we just want to navigate to that connection we have just created so we expand geo package and then choose the table or the layer you want to select the so places are places okay we'll do the same for roads data source and that's roads Change data source for the suburbs and lastly for urban. Okay, so that's looking good. So I'm going to save this project, which will save it inside um, the, the projects folder as it was. We are also going to save the hugest project inside the geo package. So we'll do that uh, next. But first, before we do that, let's just have a look at one of these layers and make sure that it is uh, referencing the, the table from that geo package. There we go. Okay, Len Dudno. And then there's the, the layer name suburb. Okay, so that's working perfectly. Right, so we want to save the project inside that geo package. So if we go to the project menu, we're going to go to the option that says save to, and then we choose geo package. We just need to choose the connection. Now we've got that connection which is created. There's only one connection to a geo package in this particular instance, which is Landudno. And then the project, we're going to give it a project name. So let's let's call it Landudno. Or let's call it yeah, let's call it Lands. Okay, short for Landudno, and then say OK. And that should be now saved there. So if we go back to our browser and have a look at that connection. We can refresh this geo package. So just click on refresh and expand. There we go. So now there's the, the, the project file as well. So if you want to save and uh, send this to someone, you will have all of the layers as well as the project inside the geo package, inside a, a single place. Okay, so that's how you can share this geo package. But we're not quite finished. The next thing I want to do is I want to export the, the raster image. So we are going to take the background satellite image here, which is the Google satellite imagery. And we're going to use the option here to convert raster. Okay, so I've already got it typed out there, so we can say convert. Convert raster. So we're gonna use this option, and there's probably a number of ways you can do this, but we're going to, we are going to use this option. So convert map to raster. And the minimum extent, we are actually gonna choose it on the map canvas. So we're gonna click and draw a little area like this okay so that's the export extent for buffer we're going to set you nothing then the the cell size of each of the pixels will make um let's make it 0 0.5 so that's half a meter for each pixel and then we want to select the layers to export so if you click on the little option down here we'll need to go and choose the google satellite and then click the blue go back arrow and what we'll do is we'll create a temporary file just to see what it looks like. We'll run that. And that's fairly quick. So let's close that down. And if we close, if we turn off the Google satellite image, you can now see that we have uh, a raster that's been exported. Okay, so now let's save this in the geo package. So we just right click on it and we'll say export save as choose the option geo package where it says format and then let's go choose that geo package and now this can be google google image okay and we'll use the same 
um, coordinate reference system as the actual project view, which is which is fine in this instance. Let's say OK. There it is. Let's remove the original. Let's click click save again. Now I'm not going to remove the Google Satellite uh, background image, which is has been added from a, a one of the Quick Map tile services, as it will be able to you'll be able to render that if you've got as long as you've got an internet connection. But if you don't have an internet connection, you now at least also have the option to have a Google image, um, which is stored in that geo package. So let's go back to that browser and refresh it again. And there it is there. Okay, so that's great. Okay, so let's save that project and let's close it down. We'll go back to our parent folder and we'll see there's our project. It's, uh, yeah, it's five megabytes, which isn't too bad. You should be able to email that. I don't know how far it zips down or how small it zips to. Uh, let's zip it down to. I don't know. Okay, it doesn't zip down too much. Okay, uh, which is fine. And then you can email that, or if you prefer, you can even email the geo package. Okay, let's just uh, delete that. Okay, so now let's imagine we're we're taking this, and we're putting it somewhere else. Let's just put it in the projects folder. Paste it down there, and then let's open up QGIS again. So we've effectively moved this. Let's open up QGIS. And that connection will be broken because we've moved the location of our geo package but we should be able to create a new new connection and then add the project uh, once that connection has been created so let's start off by moving this connection right click remove connection new connection go find it okay that's where i moved it to open then if you add your QGIS project to your map view it should open up okay so that's one way you can save uh, your layers into a geo package and how you can share your project great hope that's been useful um good luck with it cheers